Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on digital modulation. Okay, so this video is actually a request from my students. They are actually quite confused why we need to have so many different levels of PSK. For example, we have this BPSK, we have this QPSK, and we also have APSK and etc. The student don't understand okay, why we need to have so many different levels of PSK and they are actually extremely confused about this. So this will be the objective of this video. I'm going to explain what will be the motivation, why we need to move from BPSK to QPSK and then to APSK. So this will be the objective of this video. So guys, if you're keen to know more about digital modulation, please take a look on the playlist under the description. Over there, you will be able to find a series of discussion on digital modulation. This is my email. If you have any question regards on this discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and also the subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Once again, thank you so much for your strong support. Okay, so I will not start on technical discussion on the motivation to move from different levels of PSK. Let me give you a very simple scenario, okay, in order to understand all these different levels of PSK. Okay, for example, you are tasked to move the book from the left all the way to the right, okay? So what you can see over here, you can see that on the left, there are lots of book. On the right shelf, there are empty shelf. So basically you are tasked to move the book from the left to the right. So when you actually doing this, you can imagine that you are actually doing some form of data transfer. You are doing data transfer from the left to the right. So basically this is what I meant. Okay, so basically your boss asks you, okay, transfer all the book on your left all the way to the right. So you start, to take one book and you actually move towards the right and put your book over here. So basically one book, which means that let's say one bit of data is transferred from the left to the right. So now your boss asks you, hey, can you do a little bit faster? Okay, so basically instead of walking, okay, you start to run a little bit okay, from the left to the right. So basically the data transfer speed actually increased because instead of walking, you actually do some form of running, okay? And therefore, the data transfer speed actually increase. However, your boss is still not so pleased. Okay, so basically, he asks you, can you do even faster? Okay, so basically, now, instead of running, you actually spring, okay, from the left to the right. Okay, so when you actually spring, okay, your speed actually increase, okay, which means that your data transfer speed also increase. Okay, so basically, this will be the limit because you actually use your best effort to, okay, to spring from the left to the right. However, your boss is still not so pleased. Okay, he still insists you to deliver the book faster in order to have the best throughput. So therefore, you run out of idea. So you think of another idea now. So instead of taking one book, you actually take two books and you start to move from the left to the right. So when you actually take two book, which means that you carry more data okay, from the left to the right. So therefore, your throughput again increase. So over here, you can see that okay, what we are going to do is basically instead of carry one book, for all these different levels of PSK, okay, you are actually carrying more numbers of books. For example, for BPSK, let's say you are actually carry one book from the left to the right. Okay, because of the limitation on your speed of running, you can't increase anymore. So therefore, in order to increase the throughput, instead of one book, you start to take two books and you start to move from left to the right. This definitely will increase the data transfer or throughput. And basically, this is the motivation why we are going to move more and more level of PSK. So now I hope you get the idea okay, why we need to have so many different levels of PSK. Now, let me use some technical explanation okay, in order to understand all this BPSK. For example, this is a BPSK. 
So under B, there will be actually two dog. Okay, so basically this is one dog, this is another dog. So what happened here is basically every dog actually represent information. For example, okay, the dog that is on the right, okay, indicate that the data is actually zero. And the dog on the left actually indicate the data is actually one. So imagine, okay, you sit right in front of this. Okay, so basically this is called constellation diagram. You sit right in front of constellation diagram. Okay, so every time when the dog appeared, Okay, you actually jot down the information. Okay, over here, the information will be zero. Over there, the information will be one. So uh, imagine this. Basically, let's say the data is zero, one, one. Okay, so the zero, they will appear here. So after that, they run to another location. They appear here. So after that, they will appear here again because the data is zero, one, one. Okay, so basically, like what I mentioned earlier on, you actually jot down the data by observing the location of the dog. So every time when you look at the dog, you can actually extract one bit of data. So basically, this is BPSK. Next, let's move on to QPSK. Q stands for quarter, okay, which means that I actually has four different dogs over here. Okay, so for example, this dog can be represented by 0, 0. This dog can be represented by 0, 1. This dog can be represented by 1, 0. This stock can be represented by one one, for example. Okay, again, you are sitting right in front of this constellation diagram. So now, okay, the dog will be appear at either one of these four location. Okay, so for example, if they appear here, then you will extract the data. Okay, so earlier on, I can actually extract only one bit of data, which is zero. But now, okay, at the same location, instead of just one bit of data, which is zero. I actually accept the data zero zero. Okay, so let's say the dot run over here. Okay, so basically I know that the data will be zero one. So from here you can see that under QPSK, every glance of the location of the dot, I actually extract two bits of data. Definitely you can imagine that QPSK will have a better throughput because at BPSK one dot location I can only extract one bit of data while at qpsk the same dot okay however i can retrieve two bits of data so now with this you can imagine the motivation why we need to move the qpsk to apsk so now instead of every location okay basically instead of two bits you actually get three bits of data this definitely increase the throughput i guess you understand what i want to say so basically, at every location of the dog, instead of two bits now, I actually extract three bits of data. Again, I don't foresee any difficulty Okay, understand why we need to move from 8PSK to 16PSK. The motivation is to increase the throughput. However, okay, we can't increase on, on and on and on. Over here, you, you probably can see that I actually somehow reached the limitation of 32 PSK. Okay, so at 32 PSK, okay, every location of the dog, I actually can extract five bits of data. Can you see over here? So you can see that basically this will be the limitation. Okay, technically this will be the limitation. Okay, but in the reality world, we definitely can put in more numbers of dog. But you can see the challenge that I'm facing now. I have big issue to put so many dogs into this constellation diagram. So now let me explain to you, okay, what will be the disadvantage to have so many dogs? But before that, I just want to do a very quick summarize how or what is the motivation that we move from B, Q, P, 16, and 32 PSK. The motivation is simply to increase the number of throughput. So now what will be the advantage? Okay, I just want to use BPSK and QPSK okay, to explain the real disadvantage of putting so many dogs. Okay, for example, okay, so as I told you that basically the dog for BPSK will only appear at the green or at the blue. However, when you actually see the dog location at the black, you may be a little bit puzzled. Okay, whether is it green or blue, but definitely black is much more closer than green. So I'm pretty sure okay, the information is actually a zero instead of one. So basically, this will be the issue of BPSK. 
technically I still can resolve this kind of error. Okay, so basically I'm pretty sure that this black color dot is actually used to represent the green color dot. I guess you understand what, I'm, what I meant. The actual location is supposed to be either at the green or blue, but somehow the dot just appeared over here. Okay, and because of some correlation, I'm pretty sure that this actually represents a message zero, which is the location of the green dot. However, let's move on to QPSK. With the same margin here, okay, basically I become a big issue because this is quite near to blue and also quite near to green. I may have difficulty to decide okay, whether is it at the location of the blue dot or at the location of green dot. So basically, in short, the more points that you're going to put onto PSK, okay, you can foresee that I cannot tolerate the error. A little bit of error, I may run to another location of the dot. So basically, we can't increase the numbers of dot. Basically, we can also do other forms of modulation, which I'm going to explain in this few series of discussion. With this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for your strong support. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye for now. Thank you so much.